The shir is being given the Nishmas Vachaleya Bas of Chaim Tzvi. But we're going to explore in the next number of Shurim are some of the piyutim that are said after the Seder is over. And we're going to begin with the piyut, which is the first piyut after the Seder. This piyut is largely founded upon a Pasuk in Pasha's bow. The Torah tells us that in the wake of the Makas Bechoros, this is in Pasha's bow, Perakid Beis, Pasuk Chates. So the Torah mentions, at Chatzos Laila, Makas Bechoros took place. The Torah continues, Vayokam Paro Laila in Pasuk Lamin. Paro gets up in the middle of the night. He, all his servants, all of Egypt, there's a massive, huge outcry. The Torah stresses one word in the context of these psukim. A word that's repeated three times, and that's the word Laila. The Pasuk Chavtes, Vayi Bachatziya Laila, Bashemi Kol Kol Bechor Be'eretz Mitzrayim, Pasuk Lamid, Vayi Uvichol Avada Bechol Mitzrayim, Pasuk Laman Aleph, Vayi Kral De Moshe Ula Aaron Laila. Chazal comment in the Medvish that Paro went looking for Moshe Rabbeinu that evening and told Moshe Rabbeinu You are hereby emancipated, you are freed you are released from incarceration even to the point of giving them a get shikhra as it were but the stress, the focus of the psukim here is the particular time that the Makkah occurred, namely and the fact that Paro, in the middle of the night, had to run and find Moshe Rabbeinu. A bit later, the Torah tells us, starting from Pasuk Lamed Zayin, They have also the accompaniment of the Erev Rav, and Pasuk Lamites, Vayofu es habatzek asher otzim mi Mitzrayim, u gos matzos ki lo chameitz, ki gorshu mi Mitzrayim, u lo yechlu isma mea, ve gam tzeda lo asu lahem. So the Torah here describes the matzah that they were compelled to eat because they had no time for the dough to rise. And then we have the following series of psukim that will be very much relevant to this particular piyot of Vechein Vayi Bechatzi Alaylam. Umosha B'nei Yisrael Asher Yashu B'mitzvayim Shalshim Shana V'yaba Meir Shana This is the period of time we were in Egypt. Vayi Miket Shalshim Shana V'yaba Meir Shana Exactly at the end, the term Miket, Mephashim always point out, implies the end of an epoch, the end of an era. Just as we already once saw, in the context of the Psukim, in the beginning of Pashas Miketz, Vayim Miketz Shnasayim Yomim, Ufaro Cholim, Dafka the Medjur says that at the end of that period of time, when in effect Yosef was supposed to be released from incarceration, that's when Paro began to dream and the like. And here also, Miketz, the end of the Tkufa, the Brisbane Absarim had indicated that Yado Atei Da Kiger Yezarach Al Biyar Atzlalahem, Vabodu Mino Samaba Meoshana. And now that specific period of time had arrived, and the Torah says, as Rashi comments over here, without any herafayin, literally at that very moment, and then in a striking pasuk, which is the very heart of this piyut, the Torah then describes the night of the seder. In very dramatic terms. Leil Shimurim Hu Lashem Lotsiya Meretz Mitzrayim Hu Alaylo Azel Hashem Shimurim Lechol Bnei Yisrael Adorosam This night is termed Leil Shimurim and has halachic consequences in terms of not reciting the entire Kriyashma 
And then I'll say there, but this is the night which is Rel Shimurim Lashem. Hu Alaylo Azeh Lashem. And the implication, of course, of this Pasuk is rather clear. The fact that twice the Pasuk mentions Lel Shimur Mul Hashem, Hu Alaylo Azel Hashem, it is a night completely dedicated to Miyucha to Yibanu Shalom. And the way the Balagod expresses it, that the Avarti Be'eres Mitzrayim Balaylo Azeh, so the Balagod Darshins, Ani Belo Malach, Ani Belo Saraf, Ani Belo Shliach, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Bichvodo Ve'atzmo. That night it was only the Rebbeinu Shalom who was operating and there's even a beautiful Medrash that the Medrash comments in the Pasuk in Shirashirim when it speaks about 